Now I've gone over a number of different system modifications for the OnePlus 5 and soon to be OnePlus 5T. Sometimes these changes are very easy to revert so that you can uninstall them and then install an official over the air update from OnePlus. But sometimes these modifications aren't easily uninstallable. And then there are times when you actually brick the device. So today I want to show you how to unbrick the OnePlus 5 and soon to be OnePlus 5T and then return to the stock Oxygen OS software so that you can start over from scratch. Now a lot of this is very similar to the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T unbrick process. So if you've done that in the past then you'll feel right at home here. For others this is a rather lengthy process and I will be including very precise and detailed step-by-step -step instructions in the full tutorial that will be linked below this video. So to start off before you do anything you're going to need to disable driver signature enforcement in Windows. Once you have that done you're going to go ahead and download and extract the OnePlus 5 or OnePlus 5T drivers just in case and then you're going to need to download and extract the recovery tool which again I will be linking to all of this stuff in the full tutorial with that done we're going to go ahead and power the OnePlus 5 off and you can go ahead and launch Windows Device Manager so that you can monitor for the change that's about to happen once the OnePlus 5 and 5T is completely off, go ahead and press and hold the volume up button for about 10 seconds. And then once that 10 seconds has passed, we're going to connect a USB cable from our PC to the OnePlus 5 or 5T. And then we're going to continue holding down that volume up button for a few seconds you should see the device manager flicker as it has added a new device to the Windows list. Now as I mentioned you're going to want to have the device manager open. Now if you have the proper USB drivers installed you're going to see this Qualcomm HS-USB QD Loader 9008 appear under the Ports and Com section. However, if you see something on the list such as Unknown Device QHUSB underscore Bulk under the Unknown section or anything else then the USB drivers are not installed properly. So then you're going to want to right click, click update driver, and then direct Windows to that driver that you had downloaded earlier. As long as the device shows up as it should, we can then turn our attention to the recovery tool, the extracted contents, should look something like this. We're going to right click on the MSM download tool, click run as administrator. And then after you grant that administrator access, you're going to see this page come up. From here, all we need to do is click on the start button. You're going to see that it has connected to the device on one of these COM ports. It's going to be downloading various partitions. And then it's going to be installing those partition files back onto the device. And depending how on how fast your internet connection is, as well as 
how bogged down the servers are. This process could take a long time or it could just take a few minutes. But you're going to want to be patient during this process. I remember when I was doing this for the OnePlus 3 and OnePlus 3T, sometimes it would pop up an error. I believe it said some kind of Sierra error, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have this information included in the full tutorial. If that happened for me, all I had to do was close down the MSM download tool, relaunch it again as an administrator, and then start the process again. For whatever reason, there was some kind of hiccup, maybe with their servers, maybe with my internet connection. There was a time when I had to restart this process at least a dozen times. Eventually it worked. Again, I had, had not made any other changes. Eventually it just worked. And I suspect that it will possibly happen for this as well. Hopefully not, but I just want to throw that warning out there to you. You'll notice that when it gets to the system image partition, that it's going to take longer than the other partitions. Again, you just want to be patient. If there is something wrong with the process, I promise it will error out and tell you there is something wrong. But for any other time, you just let it go. And again, you should see this progress meter go each time. Once we see that green text happen, we're going to see our OnePlus 5 or OnePlus 5T reboot. This reboot is going to happen automatically. Once that starts happening, we can go ahead and unplug the USB cable from the device. Again, be sure to wait until it reboots before you unplug that USB cable. And since we have just wiped everything off the device, this first boot cycle is going to be longer than normal. So we're just going to be patient during this process. Again, you can see that that is a key word here. Just be, be patient. Let the MSM download tool do its job. Then be patient and let the Oxygen OS software set everything back up again and it's going to boot us back into the Android activation screen for Oxygen OS
And there you have it. That is the complete process of how to unbrick the OnePlus 5 and soon to be OnePlus 5T, as well as how to return to stock Oxygen OS so that you can install official over-the-air updates from the company.